All right, man. Torch it up. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Yes, sir. Yeah, Torch blood talk. today. I'm a blood. Mm -hmm. That's what they say, but I'm not no blood. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, y'all scared of y'all kids now? Yeah. Some of these people are, yeah. Some of these people scared of their kids. Y'all letting y'all letting these women uh trans y'all kids out? Is this what y'all doing? Yeah, I, huh? I, I I I I've heard some things about this, bro. I heard I heard some things. So there's a guy who his wife is he has a young boy and his wife wants him this this young man, a young boy. I think the boy's like I think he's like five or six or something like that. He's a young boy. Mm -hmm. And the dad, six divorced, years old. He's six. Five or six. Five or six, somewhere around. There. That's 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 pretty young. It's pretty young. And the mom is trying to get a sex change. <sighs> so, my question to you is: Are are people scared of their kids now, or or <laughs> do we live in an age where people? are fantasizing about wanting something that they don't have. So, for example, I'll, just, I'll give you some more, a little more context. Mm. So, if you have a child, let's just keep it real. If you have a boy that you wanted your child to be a girl, now you're going to force your child to be, to be a girl. A girl. Mm -hmm. yep. And I know some people probably saying, oh, listen, let me explain something to y'all. This is a very important topic. I don't care how people feel about it. And it should be discussed. Yeah. I think that we are in an age of mental illness. I think that a lot of these people that are in charge or that are running certain things are mentally ill. That's just, that's just how I feel. Working in a psych hospital for over 20 years, <laughs> Facts. I might not have a, a, a degree, but I'll have experience. And I'm telling y'all, very much so. a lot of these motherfuckers are mentally ill. Trust and believe that. Because I don't get it. How can you allow your six-year-old child to make such an important decision? No, she no, she's not allowing this this child to do it. She's she's making the child do it. Because you can't allow your six-year-old child to do anything. Well, no, 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 no. Okay, what I'm saying is, right? Yeah. She's going off the idea of saying that this is what he feels like he is, right? Actually, no. Actually, no. Actually, she's forcing him to believe that. Okay, okay. So you get what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So basically, you're saying that she has. She's the she's one that influences. Yeah, she's influenced. She's the she's, she's the sole reason why this child is believing that he is a different gender. Oh wow! The that's child even, doesn't know that. That's the, even the worse. The child doesn't know the gender. The child because the dad asked the child, and the child came out and said, "Oh, uh, uh mommy, mommy." Uh, made me do this, and nobody stopping her from doing this. Apparently not. Apparently, there are people who are protesting against the father. Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold I swear up, to God, yo, ain't no fucking way, <laughs> yo. This I, ain't I, no I, way. I, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Yo, what? Yo, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding. You. They did. I have to the agree. father. The the father. Went to he went to speak at a college, and the college the kids were calling him transphobic, and and he was like, "Well, my this it's my child. I don't care. At least supposed to let let your child do what they want to do." He's like, "Well, my child is this age. He can't make it. I don't care. Children can't make important decisions like this around six years old. This is when you tell them what they got to do. This is when you you tell children what they need." Yeah, and and and, and 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 what they and what in their wants stuff like that. Now, I mean, you let them make decisions, yes, yeah, yeah, because they're growing up and this is what they do. Yeah, but you know, even just being older, even if you're not that educated, yeah, just being older in age, you know what road that leads to. Yeah, because you lived it. It's, it's like. No, so many people haven't lived this. So many people are a product of society today. 
So since they're a product of society today, they're going off what they believe is the norm, the norm and what they believe should be done today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like people, people are NPCs. And I say this all the time. The NPCs, they don't have a mind of their own. They only jump off what everybody else thinks. So it's like, I don't want to get canceled because I'm a part of that, that social media world where people support that. If I come out, I kind of, it's kind of like bullying people into doing Mm -hmm. something that they don't, that they, they don't, shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? People care about their social media so bad, bro. Yes. That they can, you shut down somebody's social media, boy, they will be ass hurt. Well, listen. They will, they're like, that's like the last all to be all. I can explain. It's crazy to me. I can explain why. This is, I was having a conversation with one of my cousins, right? And he's not on social media. And he said he'll never get on social media. And I told him, I said, in 10 years, you're going to be lost. Yep. And he said, well, how, how do you figure that? I said, because yep. everything is online. Facts. You're, online is a whole nother life. People got to understand this. <laughs> if you're not online, you literally, like it, when I say online, I'm talking like online. I'm talking like your bank accounts, your credit cards, your debit cards. I'm talking like your social media accounts. Everything is inter- integrated and is connected because it's a separate world from the from the world we live in. So if you if you are not online, eventually your currency or whatever type of way you're spending money isn't going to work. And guess what? The banks are not going to let you in the bank eventually. So you're going to have to be online on something. And you might have to be a part of a social network to get on your, your account. You get what I'm saying? Because now they have it where Facebook is connected to everything. Every time you download an app, what does it say? Would you like to connect it to your Facebook? Every app. Every app. Would you connect it to your Twitter? Would you like connect? So they trying to push you to this. So this way, if you do connect to your Facebook, all your information is right there. It's like an ID card. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah, pretty fucking. Much. That's basically what it is. So if you just let it go, like it's if nothing. you don't, yeah, if you don't have none of this stuff, you might think that you're doing good. Don't get me wrong, you might think you're doing good, but it's kind of like a social security card. They know you identification. This is this is social security card 2.0. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. And I be telling them like, I get it that you don't want to be a part of Facebook, but it's bigger than Facebook because you're gonna get Facebook. left behind. That's yo. That's I never thought of it like that. But that's a whole fact. You are. You're gonna get left behind. That's a whole. And ten fact. years ago, right? Ten years ago. That's a whole. You know fact. what we were saying ten years ago? Mm-hmm. I would never buy nothing offline. I never put my information online. I would never put shop online. You crazy? The home shopping network. Yep. Shopping online. They was on to something. Home shopping network was on to something. Yeah, they had you niggas buying shit <laughs> offline, and then they, but now. Everybody shops online. You got some people that still go to the store, but for the most part. But what's called was a, but COVID was a big push for that. that well, was niggas niggas was doing that before COVID. No, 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 no. no. People was doing it before COVID, yeah, but yeah. COVID really COVID really pushed, did. Yeah, that's it. It pushed a lot of people that was on the fence about it. Yeah. To finally be like, yo, I really have to buy shit off a lot. Yeah. Like, I have to, you know what I mean? Like, COVID really did that, bro. COVID, I'm a, I'm COVID pushed this. people to a lot of online shit. I'm going to say this because I ain't trying to get my YouTube strike. Uh, COVID-19 was real. The vaccines do help <laughs> in every way. Saves all lives, multiple lives. Even saves dogs' lives. Even. So just to let you know, the vaccines are very good and they work. <laughs> and COVID-19 was a pandemic. There you go. So just had to put that disclaimer out there. But anyway, for the YouTube, <laughs> right before they try to so whatever the I'm fuck you want to well, because they it's coming. Yeah, but yeah, but I'm saying COVID nineteen was a big part. Yeah, it was a big part of people making people go online because well, when you got that unemployment and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, no, point, no, you had to go them. online and you yeah. had to you was for making phone calls. Phone yeah. calls wasn't fucking working. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. they had you on hold for like five days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they had you on hold. Yeah, you call there trying to get some unemployment. You know who the fuck yeah, is? Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. So when I was telling my cousin, I'm like, bro. So he's like, I would never. I said, listen, bro, you don't have to ever do that, but eventually, you're gonna get shut out of that world. Yeah. And but 
the thing is, when it comes to the parents nowadays, I think the parents are the the parents nowadays are the parents of when we you know when we was growing up and you had those kids that you seen those kids where those kids was was the knuckle not knuckleheads but they was the ones that was like oh no I don't believe that no I believe this no I believe this and we the ones like nah we 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 come we cut big was cut from a different I'm just I'm just gonna keep it I'm just gonna say it the way it is mm-hmm. we were we were the kids who wasn't into homosexuality and stuff like that. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? The next generation that came after us, they became subjected to it because a lot of parents became okay with it. Now, again, I'm not saying nothing bad mm-hmm. about homosexuality. I'm just telling you what it is. Yep. A lot of a lot of parents became uh, cool with it. Now it's gotten to the point where it's, it's not the parents. It's these kids who are the parents now. Mm-hmm. And now they're like, well, listen, this is what it has to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, word is born. Some of these, yo, these kids is sometimes out of pocket, bro. Out of pocket. I can't do it because I still, I, I was raised old school and I still do some old school shit. You but, know but I mean? they, but, but society has made it where it's. But hold but, but I, I get it. Society, society so totally has. But I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, yeah, of course. Of course. Cause, uh, I mean, I grew up in a time where lesbians were called bull daggers. Yeah, butchers. No, no, no. My grandma bull, used to bull, say, bull that's, that's, the, that's the bull dykes and bull yeah, daggers. Bull dag- yo, it's be bull daggers, bull dykes, and butchers. Like, and but- I used to do, and I, yo, when they used to call them, when they used to call them, and it was very them few butchers, of them. Right? Yeah. They used to call them butchers. I used to think, like, they was a butcher. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Was, they they know know like women, and they cut meat. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> a butcher. It, was, it was like one, like, in the neighborhood. Like, my neighborhood was like one. I forgot her name or whatever. But, like, yeah. one. And like it was like it wasn't like every neighborhood. But but the like thing is, daddy. they didn't they didn't really even like. I'll put it to you like this: gay women back then wasn't really looked at that bad. Oh no no they wasn't really okay. Gay men was though. okay. Listen, oh my god, the you women, was a gay man back then. Women they got always you the fuck out of here. Had that little bit of thing that that you know you don't really really go at them yeah. for. Yeah, you know I mean yeah. men. Yeah, yeah. You go at men. Yeah, you, you know going, what I mean? Homosexuality is definitely like you go, one of the you biggest. You going for that nigga. Uh, I mean, I ain't never, I never really cared. When I was growing up, it wasn't a big thing to me. Because I, I mean, I, but I never, nobody, if, if anybody in my family was, I didn't know. Yeah. Our family didn't know. But I have no openly gay people in my But you see. Family. E- I, so, 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 I don't. Yeah, you know I mean, I didn't have to assimilate. Yeah, like a lot, like a lot of people have had to assimilate to this yeah, yeah. this change of things. Yeah, you ain't. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I really haven't. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that it's not going to happen, because you never know. Things change, and you know what I mean. Time goes, and and I'm saying, I, and I think I'll be, I'll be fine. I mean, but it's kind of like it's kind of like society has made it where it's if you are a straight male or you're a straight woman. They made it as if you're wrong for that now. Now you're wrong. Yeah. In so many ways, they're saying it's it's kind of reversed. In so many ways, it's kind of reversed now. It's kind of like we were saying, well, you were wrong for being gay. Now they're saying you're wrong for being straight. <laughs> I seen this. I seen this girl say, if a man says he doesn't want to date a transgender man or a transgender woman, I'm sorry, transgender woman, he's transphobic. So let me get this right, bitch. You're telling me if I, a biological man, biological. don't want to date a biological man, I'm transphobic. But see, this is what they do. They throw these labels on you, and people are so damn sensitive yes, now. Yes, they are. And it kind of brings us back to the, the parent thing. Parents are scared because... They're so scared that their children, they want, well, again, I believe that we're living in this, this trophy syndrome. Um, everybody gets a trophy everybody syndrome. Gets a trophy you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Everybody gets a trophy syndrome. Everybody, equality, everybody has to be together. You know what I'm saying? And I'll get into that in a second. But I believe that we live in, t- living in this society today where everybody feels as though that, it's all inclusive. Oh, you, you this, 
I'm this. You this, I'm that. And it's like, no. I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that. And it's fine for me not to be that. Yeah, and it's fine for you to be that. And but you can't make me think you that. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's okay. Like, I was watching, um, like, the, the, I was watching, um, trans women versus left wing. Uh, oh, no, I've seen left, that. Left wing, um, uh, was left Conservatives. wing. Women. Conservatives. I've seen conservative that. Conservative and the girl, and the, and the light skinned girl. She yes. bodied the shit out of them. Yes, she did. You yes, said, on one did. hand, you're telling me this, and on another hand, you're telling me this. Yeah, she, like, she was... She, she yeah, was, she ain't no joke. She was no joke. She was that, that no girl, she has a, she has a YouTube channel. It's called Unapologetic. She's she, she's thorough, bro. Oh, yeah? She's only 22 years old. She's oh, a millionaire. Wow. What? Yeah. Oh, okay, so she's thorough, thorough. No, she's thorough, thorough, bro. Yeah, okay. she, she's the truth, bro. Like, she, she... She wasn't playing, too. She was like... I mean, she was just being honest, though. Yeah. And not saying that, you know what I mean? But, like, because I don't get the whole... You know what I mean? I could be wrong, you know what I mean? Or whatever. But I don't get the whole, uh, uh, well, I don't feel like biology is, is real. Like they say, it's, okay, everything's on the spectrum, right? That's the whole mm-hmm. thing. Everything's a spectrum for them, right? But that's only, but that only, it's only a spectrum when it supports their argument. That's mm-hmm. it. It's never a spectrum when it doesn't support their argument. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ask them, well, how many species of man and woman can have kids? They only can tell you one. Exactly. So it's it's only it's only a spectrum when it supports their argument. That's yeah. that. They try, what they try to do is they try to hit you with tr- with parlor tricks and tricks, and they'll say, "Well, a trans woman, a, a trans man can have kids." Well, biologically, that's a woman. So you can't say, "Oh, well, uh, because I put on a, a, a what's the, what's the lion name on a uh, on a." Uh, Wizard of Oz, the cowardly lion, the cowardly lion suit, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and I have a baby. <laughs> Doesn't mean a lion had a baby. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, bro. But the kids, again, the parents. These parents are growing up, and their society has pressured these parents into. I'm not gonna say society. I'm gonna say these are the people that was always telling on you back in the day. So my question is, right, I'm just I'm just thinking. So you think it's more of like a mental, you say you think it's like more of a mental illness about what this woman mass, is, mass about, 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 about this woman, about what this woman is doing to this child. What is the point of her doing it? So so basically, yeah, you said she has something wrong with her. Yes. She, and, you know, and guess what? But she said, but she's she a said pediatrician that, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes. And, and she said, and, but she is but through her. She's saying that my child is telling me this is what he wants. All right. So look, yes, she's saying this is what the child, the child, the child feels as though that she's she he he's a girl, and I'm gonna turn it into a girl, turn him into a girl. That's what she's saying. But the she child, won't put him on hormone blockers and stuff like that. But the child, the child. The child is only six. The child doesn't know. Yeah, exactly. Fucking hole in the wall. Like you know, what I'm six saying? years like, old. Like you really don't know about. Nothing you don't know about stuff. that. What the fuck is that? You didn't even know what a male and a female is at six. Barely, barely. How barely. do you? How can you tell a child? How can a child tell you he feels? He feels like a girl. You must it, have put him in a room full of girls and only ha- played with girls all his life, and then he says, "Oh yeah, I feel like a girl." How does he? Even with that, even with that being the case. Mm-hmm. How can a child feel like something? You know okay. what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know, but maybe the child maybe feel like he's a little feminine. How can a child feel like that? I if you're raising your child, how can your child feel like that? I don't know because kids. I don't, that's I don't because know. that's because because I don't know. Like I've never, I've I've never dealt with, uh, I've never dealt with anyone that grew up to be gay. Or I have a conversation with someone that was homosexual like that. Like, asking them, like, yo, did you have these feelings? Like, when you was a kid, like, yo, I just, I wanted to be a chick from yeah. the gate. You know what I mean? But then some motherfuckers be like, yo, we knew he's going to be gay from the fucking we, the moment we, I mean. Well, I, I put it to you like this. You ever seen that movie, uh, Soldier? I think it's called Soldier. Mm-mm. It's with, uh, what's the boy? Uh, you ever seen Big Trouble in Little China? Yes. What's that dude's name? Dude name. 
What's that dude? Which one? The dude, the main star. I don't know, goofy ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about. So he did a movie called Soldier. Okay. Where basically they put him in, uh, he he basically was raised around all men. And Mm -hmm. there was was no such, in in his world there was no such thing. It it was women, of course, but he was only raised around men. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? See, the society we live in now, they tell you that there's no such thing as a woman. There's no such thing as a man. So now, even when we were growing up, there was two different, there was genders, like there was, you know, there were gay people. There yeah. were gay people, there were man, woman, then you had gay people. Then mm-hmm. you had people under that. So whether they trans or whether they want to mm-hmm. be a woman or whatever, right? Now it's gotten to the point where they're like this. There's no such thing as a man. There's no such thing as a woman. You could be non-binary, you could be whatever gender you want to be. How is that the case when you have a history documented of men and women. <laughs> if you got a history, I can see if they start like it was the great reset and bam, uh, that everybody got created over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, but, so it's telling me, so basically you telling me that they're trying to say, I don't got no dick. And she yeah, got no yeah, pussy. That, that's that, what you got down there don't doesn't distinguish shit. anything from you as long as you feel that way, you can have that. But again, this is this is the argument that I always say to people, right? If you, and this is for the parents, if you really feel as though that your child is a girl, then why are you trying to give them hormone blockers and trying to change their gender? If they uh-huh. are really a girl, because uh-huh. it's already in them, right? It already is. Like let's let's just say to Dwayne Wade, for example, right? I know people support, and I'm just going to say it, women, women, women support this. Most men don't. Most men don't care or they don't support it. That's a fact. That's it. They'll be like, I don't care or they don't support it. But most women, they support it. Right? Mm -hmm. Who's in charge of a lot of stuff now, especially social programs? Women or gay men. Right? Mm -hmm. You look at, I don't know if you've seen uh, the Twitter Excuse me, the Twitter files, right? You get a chance to look that up. Anyway, mm-hmm. the Twitter files, most of the people that were in charge of or Twitter, they were either gay or they were women. Or they played that line. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which, by me saying it is, they put these people, these people are in powerful positions now. Whereas like, all right, I'll give you, I'll give you another example. Comic books, right? Let's mm-hmm. just use comic books for example, right? Most of the writers now of these books or writers, they're progressive or they're gay or they're okay with this type of stuff. So what they're yeah. doing now is they're changing everything. This is this is my they, I, it's not, oh, this is the this is my version of this character. No, this is what I believe the character should have been. It's mm-hmm. a difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. So guess what? Guess what? We're gonna announce it on here. Guess what on the, in, in in the newest DC comic? Guess what's going on right now? Oh, oh. Robin. No, Robin's gay no. now. No, that yeah, he's, that's even, he's even gay on Titans. That's true. On, on HBO, Joe. That's wild. <laughs> yes, but no, you were you probably gonna get up and walk away if I tell you this. I don't even want to tell you. There's only be one thing, man. Superman gay. Superman's not gay. Okay. His uh, son is gay, but he's not gay. His son is gay. In the comic book, yeah. His son is gay. So now we got but it's, Batman. It's, it's even worse than that. It's even worse than that. Like when I tell you, I'm going to tell you, the Joker is pregnant. <laughs> Up, yo. I swear. That's my favorite villain, bro. bro. I love the Joker. I Paul. swear to God. That's my favorite villain, bro. Bro. You can't take my favorite villain. Bro. This you can't. This you can't. You can bro, do listen, listen, listen. 
And she's, uh, Listen, it's, bro, it's check it. this out, just, right? So look, you, you can do whatever you want to, right? DC. So the Joker's pregnant, right? Here's you can do the whatever thing. you want to, DC. You can do whatever you he want. He didn't to. have the baby. It's yours. He didn't have the baby through his his ass or whatever. Wherever a pregnant man could have a baby, because I don't understand how a man can be pregnant without a, a birth canal. But either way, <laughs> so uh, he had the baby. He threw the baby up. Threw it up. And the baby looks like him, and he takes, because basically, see, this is the thing, and I don't want to okay, go on how? a tangent. Okay. Um, we we'll, we'll, we'll we'll have to talk that off the camera. We'll talk that off the camera. But anyway, I don't want to go on a tangent about it. But this is what I mean by society has basically flipped everything into this mental illness state. People might say this is not mental illness. Whenever you believe something that's not true, that's mental illness. If it, and I ain't talking about on a level of a, of a lie. I'm talking about if you believe that you are a bunny rabbit and you're not a bunny rabbit, that is a part of mental illness. And you might not, when I say mental illness, I ain't saying like you so might not be like in the hospital, the hospital, but it's normalized now. So people are walking around with mental illnesses and they don't even realize it because... They looking at it like we're the ones that's crazy. And we're saying, how the fuck are you saying you're this when I know you have a full fucking beard and a dick? How the fuck am I saying that you are, you you saying I'm a woman? This is a mental illness. But parents, get back to parents. I know we switching over. But anyway, get back to the parents. Parents are scared. Because they are scared that they were not going to be accepted socially by by their kids and their kids' peers. Okay, my question. And I don't want to. I don't want to make it a racial thing, but I got to ask. Yeah. What nationality are, are, are the people we're talking about? Oh, this this that's a good that's a good question. So you could you can um. I, good enough, you you know really what? want me to go down that road? <laughs> I will. Sure. I have no problem. I will go down that road. Black women love trans shit, bro, and they love gay shit. Black women encourage encourage gay shit, bro. Okay, so the question I'm asking, they do the people. So that's your answer. That they're, they're black. Is there black people? That's a black hey, right, so what's your question? I'm saying I I'm talking about the, encourage. No, encourage. I'm talking about the story. The story that you gave from the very beginning. No, that's a white couple. It's a white couple. Yes, yeah, a white. Couple. But it's on the same level. And the reason why I say that is because look at Dwayne Wade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's an infection in people. It's not a, it's not a white and black thing. Not a white and black right. thing. Yeah, you're right. I think people... Sorry about that. I'll just... No, no, no. That's all good. That's all good. I think that people nowadays, we have this society where it's, or it has to be, everybody has to be inclusive. And they want to kick us out. Anybody that's straight, anybody that don't agree with them, they want to kick them out. Well, they want to run everything. Can't do it. You can, but you can't because I'm predicting right now. You know I mean? in Twenty the, years, they're going to be in control of everything, and and it's not even be, it's it's going to be because you got people with, they're trying to silence people for speaking their mind. You can't even you have to tiptoe around YouTube guidelines when it comes to certain things. Yeah, you, you could did. call people niggas all day, but if you disrespect somebody, like if you call them, and I don't want to say the f word, you know the f word I'm talking. about. Not fuck, but the other F word. Mm -hmm. You call a effeminate man an F word, they'll 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 uh fucking strike your channel for that. Shit. But you can call people niggas all day. Nigga, nigga, nigga. They don't nigga, even give nigga, a nigga, fuck. Nigga, nigga. They don't care. You could call people niggas all day. Literally call people niggas on Facebook. They won't say it. You say, I said this girl was the GOAT on Facebook and they blocked me for 30 days. Said I was uh that was verb verbal abuse. How? They don't, the algorithm don't know. The algorithm just looks at it like, I said, you're a goat. So they must have, I said, you're the goat. They must have looked at it like, oh, he's calling her a, a goat. goat. Yeah. Same thing I said about the black, it was a black lady. And I said, she was pouring all this sugar inside of, inside of a, you seen that video. It's a, it's a restaurant in Philly. She be making candy yams. She poured a bag oh, of yeah, sugar yeah, in there. Yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. a giant bag. And I said, yeah. this is the reason why black people have diabetes. They blocked me for 45 days of that. 45 days on Facebook. 
Because you said this is how black, this is how black people get diabetes. They said, I, I, basically, they said I was talking down on a race. Now, I call people niggas on Facebook all day, and they don't say a motherfucking thing. But as soon as I say black people get diabetes from eating too much sugar, <laughs> they block me. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. This is what I mean. Society has became this thing where all these feminists and all these uh, these uh, progressives and all these... Are you doing speaking truth? Bro, all these motherfuckers that are in control of certain areas now. So now... It's like it's like you know how it's like when you was growing up and you did something and it's like I don't like that they did that to me. It's like, well, and then they, then their parents come to your parents and say, yeah, well my daughter or my son he didn't like her. Yeah, he hit me in my head. And I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like the adults are doing this now. Mm-hmm. They're talking about me on Facebook. I don't like that. And now what? Now we 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 gotta we gotta deal with the consequences like social media. I don't know I don't know I, I only was saying the truth. Oh no no! You told me that I was a woman and I'm a man and you know I'm a man. You like well uh, you got on the baby so your dick is out. No no, <laughs> and we get in trouble because they look at that they had put this before it was in L A. You get you you get in trouble for saying shit for them. For calling people the raw ones. Man, listen. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. That shit crazy, bro. It's just crazy to me. They got laws in California that doesn't make sense, but that's another story. Anyway, man, Torture Talk, you know what it is. Talk to talk. Yeah, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man.